Hi, in this video, we will see how to perform horizontal scroll in a web table using Selenium. So you have a web table and you have multiple columns. Those are not in visible area. So if you want to perform, I mean, scroll to a particular column, means that is horizontal scroll, how you can perform in a web table. Okay, so that we will see in our video. So for this, uh, go to datatables.net. This is one of the websites. Scroll little bit down. So you can see examples here. Click on these examples. You see that click hori scroll horizontal option. Click here. Then you can see one of the examples like you see here first name, last name, position, salary. After that, you have extension and email. These two are not in visible area, but I want to make them come to the visible area, showing the visible area. So I want to perform something like this, this scroll. Okay, horizontal scroll. All right. So for that, we need to find this element, scroll to this element, very simple. In our previous videos also, we have seen that uh, vertical scroll, very similar to that. You find the element, scroll to that element. Okay, that simple it is. And uh, previously for this, we need to use JavaScript executor, but uh, there is no need to depend upon this JavaScript executor. So from version 4.2 in Selenium, so we have wheel actions, scroll wheel actions. In this, we have one of the methods called scroll to element. You see, in the actions class, scroll to element. So with the help of this, we can directly scroll to that particular element and it will only work with Chromium browsers, that is Chrome and Edge browsers, it will not work with Firefox browsers. So they may add in in the future, but at present it will only work with Chromium based browsers. Okay. So first copy this and go to IntelliJ. So here in the palm.xml, I have added 4.4 version of Selenium and WebDriver Manager to launch my browser. So go to the horizontal scroll. So Web driver manager dot. So in our previous videos, we have seen using Chrome browser. So in this video, we'll see edge driver, edge browser setup, and then web driver, driver is equals to new edge driver, and then driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and then driver dot get, go to this particular URL and then thread dot sleep. So we'll see the execution properly. We'll wait for uh, at least three seconds to see the execution properly. Otherwise it will be very fast. Add interrupted exception. And then I want to go to a particular element, right? So let me, inspect this. So this is which table it is example. So let me write a CSS. So I can go to table head, right? In the table head, I have first name, last name, something like that. I want to go to what do you say extension. Okay. So what is that extension? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That is eighth, okay? Eighth column. So go to the TR and inside this TH. And TH colon, nth child of eighth, eighth one. So what is the eighth one? Eighth one is, you see extension, okay? I want to go to that particular column. So let me copy this. That is my target element. So let me capture web element, web element, target element is equals to driver dot, find element by dot, CSS selector, take that selector and you need to use actions class actions actions is equals to new actions of you need to pass the driver instance and then actions dot 
scroll to element. What is that element? Target element. Dot person. That's it. That simple it is. So find that element. Pass to pass that to scroll to element method of actions class. That is the only method they introduced in four point two. You can use this and you can scroll to that element. So let me try this one. Opened Edge browser, navigated that. You just observe, you see that extension. Okay, the moment when you see this extension, it will stop scrolling that. Okay, scroll to that particular element. It, the moment when it comes to the visible area, right? This is visible area, right? So it will scroll. It will not scroll something like this. Half of that email or full email or something like that. The moment it is visible, it will stop that scrolling. Okay. Let me try the last one email. That is ninth element, right? So go to the ninth and scroll to that particular email column. So execute again and see. So it will only work with the Chrome and Edge browser. The reason is it will only work with Chromium based browsers. So it will not work with Firefox at present. So we are not sure in the future, they might add. So navigated to that particular URL, wait for three seconds. You see that now it navigated to the end. The reason is the moment it sees that email column in the visible area, it will stop execution, sorry, scrolling. Okay, so this is how you can perform horizontal scroll in particular web table, okay. So this is all about horizontal scroll. So that's all in this video. Please like the video, comment your thoughts and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.